these niggas be corny. I'm feeling horny. And I shoot like Robert Horry. I'm off this percolated oh. shit. I got a percolated bitch. Hi guys, it's Every here and in today's video I will show you guys how we can make that effect that you just saw in the intro. This effect will be really easy to make and if you only want to make the rap build up you don't need any plugins at all. But if you want to make the kill effect after the kill, so the shake and the glow, you will have to have the sapphire plugins. As usual I will leave a link in the description to a tutorial on how to download them and a download link. So you can download them absolutely for free. But now enough talking, let's get right into the video. So the first step is to sync the clip with the music. How to do that is press on music, find the beat you want the kill to happen. I want it to be here, so just press M, it will create a marker. Then you go to your clip and find the shot of impact. The shot of impact is where the red dots appear in your crosser. So for me it's right here, press M on your clip. So it's a person marker, then turn on this magnet tool and it should be really easy for you to just slip it in. So what you need to do now is lock the audio and lock the clip audio, press on the clip and we're gonna do some time mapping. Press Ctrl R, add a speed point right on the shot of impact so where the red dots appear. Press on this arrow, press add speed point, go 30 frames to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 30, 30 exactly here. Press on the arrow again, add speed point, zoom in a bit and go in the middle of them and add a speed point. It don't need to be exact but about in the middle. And in the first gap you created here, press on the arrow, change speed 50% and on the second gap press change speed, make it 200%. What you need to do now is make so this last speed point is lined up with those three markers. How we're gonna do that, we will only play around with the middle speed point, not with the on the sides. So just drag this in the middle until you see that the last speed point is synced up with these three markers. So as you see, it's synced up right now. And you should see this cool effect. And now we have basically time mapped it. And we can add some slow-mo if you want. So go about 30 frames to the right, press add speed point make it 50% and drag it yeah, back somewhere here and you should the slow move you need to go on the feelings sometimes I don't even use it but now we can close the return controls by just uh, zooming out and pressing the X right here and now we are gonna do the wrap effect so how to do the wrap effect is press on the you can lock the audio press on the clip split the clip right on shot of impact so where the red dots appear Press on it, press Ctrl B, that will split it. Then go to Open Effects, search up, then you don't need any plugins for this. This will be built in in DaVinci Resolve. So just drag it out on here. Then go one frame to right so you can see the effect. Go to the Effect tab up here in the Inspector. Change then type to 200. Drag the size up to, yeah, the highest of Wibble. Then the last frame you can see the effect, so right here, a speed point on the strength, I press on it and make it dot two five zero. Oh, so dot two five zero, oh, and this will pop up. Then you go 20 steps to the left, so 1, 2, 3, four, 20 is exactly here. Keyframe the strength again, then double click on it and write in dot three three three. Press enter and the effect should disappear. So, so now we have our um, dent done. Now we're gonna add some shake to after the kill. How to do that is delete this, go to effect, drag in an adjustment clip above this. So right here. For this you will have to have the sapphire plugins. So just go to open effect search up S underscore shake. Drag it in. And I have a preset for this, so just copy it, I'll just open it up. So right here, just go on and copy everything of these, you can pause it, do whatever you want, but yeah, just copy everything. Yeah, so copy all of these, then just press save preset and save it, so you can use it whenever you want. What you're gonna do then is just keyframe the first frame you see the effect. Keyframe the amplitude, go 10 frames to right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keyframe it again and drag it down to 0, and you should see this type of little shape. 
This is one of my favorite shakes. They are really good and I really suggest you yeah, save it. I'm not gonna go that much in depth on the like sort of grow, so I will just uh, take a preset from my latest uh, preset pack. So green infusion, then just, I will be using for this the bright pink glow. I will not add any flicker for this because I don't think it will look good, but I see we have a pretty cool effect. I will leave a link in the description anyways, but then you can just go in the future just copy all of these if you want. But I really suggest you just download them. There are really many good things, so all of these five, they are really good. So yeah, I just watched it. And uh, just a little sneak peek. As you all guys know, we just passed 25 likes on my ident tutorial. And if you watched the video, I said that if we hit 25 likes i'll do a part two so here's a little sneak peek on what you will be learning tomorrow hopefully yeah tomorrow i think i'll post that video but yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys drop a like drop a sub help your boy out and peace out see you in the next video